The sitting disease, it's a term coined by medical experts after a 2008 Vanderbilt University study found the average American sits for 7.7 hours a day. 86% of full-time workers sit most of their shifts, with the month of May being Global Employee Health and Fitness Month. We brought in a trainer to give us some tips on some workplace workouts for our series, New Week, New You. And exercise is proven time and time again to keep you happy, keep you younger, longer. And keep you working. That's why Julia Robuchaw, a personal trainer with the Camp Transformation Center, says it's important to keep moving, especially if you work behind a desk. To make sure that they make time to get up, <laughs> whether it's every hour on the hour, every two hours, get up out of your desk, stretch, go walk down the stairs, go down the lobby, come back up. It only takes a couple of seconds, and it's not like a whole workout routine that you're going to do in your office where you're just going to be sweating buckets and then you've got to go back and talk to people. No, it's more about getting fresh blood into the body and then continuing on the day with that energy, that fresh blood supply gives you that energy. Julia showed us how to put her words into action around the newsroom, starting with our noon producer, Alyssa. She probably sits down at 6.30 in the morning and maybe get, gets up once or twice. So then she needs some noon. for that upper body because she's constantly doing this now. She showed us how to take advantage of our surroundings. In this case, a simple desk and chair. One, two, three, four. Are you getting sweaty yet? No, Five. not yet. Yeah. <laughs> Keep going, six. Julia says people who work desk jobs often need help strengthening their shoulders and their back. Walk your feet up and get your triceps going. Another effective piece of equipment you can bring with you, they're inexpensive, versatile, and even portable, resistance bands. I'm wearing a <laughs> nice suit, you know, I've got there the pocket go. square. There you go. Go. This is something that she can use, even just sitting down as she is. She doesn't even have to move from her chair. She can take the band and pull it apart. This will get those back muscles okay. that tend to weaken when we roll forward. Those will get those to wake up. Keep going as fast as you can. Cha-cha, right, like you're dancing. It's fairly it easy. It is fairly easy. How's it feel? But I know I'm working muscles I don't normally work. See? These exercises may not seem like much, but with time and consistency, these small changes can make a big difference for your overall health. Health is a multitude of things. It's not just a physical um, image. It's not just a, a picture perfect, um, you know, physique. It's it's got to do mental. It's got to do again physical. It's got to do um, emotional. I feel like I could get some serious biceps doing that. So. <laughs> Good for everybody in the office. Julia says there are a few little things managers and CEOs can do to promote a healthy workplace as well. Trying to take your morning meetings outside to a park, go on a stroll for your brainstorming sessions. You can also host competitions and challenges.